Hey, what's up, guys? Ref here. So today we're we'll gonna be looking at two sets of agency-related VTuber drama. Two sets. One featuring okay. Niji Sanji and one featuring Hollow Live. So we're gonna begin with this VTuber from Hollow Stars Japan named Astol. Now, this Japanese VTuber is under attack from not only Japanese-speaking fans, mm -hmm. but also English-speaking fans who feel betrayed after betrayed. one of his recent tweets. Oh, Some Lord. people who have been longtime supporters for years have completely dropped their support because of these recent actions. Is so you're thinking McDonald's to yourself, order? it must be really serious. Is it the what McDonald's did he order? do? He ordered McDonald's. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the crime that caused people to completely <laughs> switch up on him. Ordering McDonald's. Here is the tweet. <laughs> Meanwhile, I order McDonald's at least once a month. And I talked about it with you guys. I literally talk about it on my Discord. Like, <laughs> like literally, when I went to the cinema, I literally tagged everyone in my Discord just to know if I should uh, have take order of McDonald's or if I should eat in. <laughs> In question, translated from Japanese, it says, Oh no, I made a mistake with my order and got three large McDonald's fries. This is what started a recent campaign to try to cancel him. He got large fries. He only got large fries. Why do people want to... <laughs> what? So here's one tweet that is representative of a lot of other replies and quotes on his main tweet saying, Mr. Astel, I hope you'll take your time to read this. And this is a... Look up the Japanese McDonald's ad controversy. There's an ad controversy. The recent ads I've seen from Japanese McDonald's were just... Um, anime related. What is there a controversy about? A Boycott list. Let's, let's now, watch the video first. Now, people believe that supporting these various companies supports Israel. And I'm sure a lot oh of you God. are aware of the conflict between that's, Israel and Palestinians. That's the reason. And people believe that if you support some of these companies listed oh here on this God. boycott list... You are literally no harming way, Palestinians as a result. Ain't no fucking now, way. Now, one of the companies listed is, of course, McDonald's. Also listed... I'm ordering fucking McDonald's right now. I can't. Well, I, I, I just want to order McDonald's right now because of this. I, I still have a coupon for McDonald's. I have a five euro coupon. Do it. What should I get? What should I get, chat? No. Yeah. What should I get? It is Google, by the way. So if you see anyone who is complaining <laughs> about this too. video milk and check. saying that I'm supporting some I, kind I, of... I'm sorry, I can't have the milk checks anymore. They make my stomach so upset. Get some hash browns. We don't have hash browns currently, unfortunately. Nuggies. Oh, nuggies, definitely. Hot take, they will never have peace there. No, they won't. They will never be peace. McFlurry. Oh, I definitely should get a McFlurry evil company like McDonald's, they are doing the same by watching this video yeah. because watching this video supports Google, which is also on this boycott list. Now, if this whole situation sounds very familiar, well, it's because it well, is. Well, yeah, for us, I because get a menu, about right? a month or two ago, Scarlet from Niji Sanji En was canceled for get very similar fries? reasons. She had a... Should I just get free big fries? <laughs> Nothing else just because of this. McFlurry machines actually work now? Yeah, I can get McFlurry machines. Oreo's good, yeah. Yeah, Oreo's good. Apple pie at McFlurry. Mix the apple pie into the McFlurry. I don't know about that. But, yeah. Nothing but fries in a single apple slice. <laughs> the ice machines do work here. Get three big fries just to spite YouTube. <laughs> Reese's McFlurry, we do not have Reese's McFlurry. We recently had Milka McFlurry here. And that was mm, amazing. It was uh, Milka McFlurry with cherry sauce dream where she was going to try every cake at Starbucks Japan and as you can see people immediately as soon as the stream started they started attacking her on Twitter and in the replies of her stream trying to confront her about this saying she was supporting Israel and all these things and at first she resisted but eventually after enough people ganged up on her she would apologize and claim that she would never do this again uh -huh. now returning to Astle's tweet here's just a small sample size of the replies you want to know how I would reply to a comment like that? Are Americans boycotting McDonald's as well? Chat, chat, chat. Are Americans boycotting McDonald's as well? Is that a thing? No, I believe not. No? 
I know that there's like a huge, like a lot of companies on the boycott list. Yes, but others stop giving a shit. Yeah, I heard about giving a shit too. American boycotts everything. Oh, that's also true. I'm sure the children are. I don't think so, but the prices have really gone up. Mm. I was thinking of just like ordering McDonald's and just posting it. <laughs> Buy not based. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? You don't like McDonald's? What the fuck? <laughs> America has McDonald's at every 10 kilometers. How can they boycott it? Only every 10? What the fuck? We have it more often here. Under that tweet, everyone's sharing this boycott list, trying to say that he is doing something wrong by ordering McDonald's. Ridiculous. Now, you can see two quotes Look, here back McDonald's, to back, and I think I it really McDonald's. sums up both sides of this situation. So here's one user in the quote saying, you can't just ignore this because he's your fave or just doesn't know at this stage after months of- <laughs> Sorry, McDonald's uh, has gotten so expensive. Yeah, it has. Here too. Here too. McDonald's has really become expensive, man. So, it's so crazy. Mackey's is flavorless. I don't agree. Um, never order a Big Mac, right? Big Macs aren't good. Never order a Big Mac. If there's nothing else that speaks to you, try a McTasty. Those ones are good. Chicken McTasty, especially. It's good. It's really good. But don't don't go for the Big Mac. The Big Mac is such a fucking scam. I think my cat wants McDonald's too. Can you guys hear him? Can you hear him singing in the background? Now, you can see two quotes here back to back, and I think it really sums up both <laughs> sides of this situation. So here's one user in the quote saying, you can't just ignore this because he's your fave or just doesn't know. At this stage, after months of spreading awareness, awareness. posting about buying boycotted stuff is just publicly saying which side you support. No, no need to not. immediate bashing, <laughs> but at really least not. more should say something. So this user claims that ordering McDonald's is literally picking a side in this situation and also it literally that, isn't you know you don't know about this boycott is not a valid excuse i know a lot of people watching this video and feel free to share your thoughts i know a lot of people who are just not aware of this stuff okay this is a very I know deep a lot of social media thing also a lot just of people don't just give a shit. aren't aware of it like scarlet was not aware of it when she got confronted in her stream now here's another reply saying basically the opposite saying i am guaranteed to be blocked by astol even this comment is in support of him but Please stop bugging hollow talents or Honestly. anyone to support causes that uh, that they're not supposed to support. They are there to entertain exactly. you, not to remind exactly. you of terrible that's, things that's in exactly this world. It. Wow. That's exactly it. We are not here. I am not here to talk about political issues. And that's why I say I don't give a shit. I don't need to give a shit. I am not a political figure. My words don't fucking matter in that regard. Whatever the fuck I do doesn't matter. Your political views are yours and mine are mine. End of story. I don't need to convince anyone. I don't need to convince anyone with my political views, man. I hate political issues, man. I hate this shit. I was never interested in politics and I'm still not interested in politics now. Like, this shit, uh, it honestly just annoys me. Like, this shit honestly just annoys me. Especially because... At least a half of these people, at least half of these people are only doing it because of cloud. Because why didn't they do that before? Why didn't do? Why did no one of these people do this before this war broke out? The current situation, right? Before the current situation broke out, no one gave a shit. But suddenly, because it's all over social media, because social media is at an old high. Is it at an all high since ever? Suddenly, all of these people on Twitter need to speak their mind about it it's out of nowhere, and they need to. We stand with Palestine. We stand with Israel. All of that shit. We support the current thing. It literally is that. It literally is just. We support the current thing. It literally is that. It's so annoying. That shit is so annoying. Like, shut the fuck up. If you're supporting it now, why didn't you support it before? Or what? You ordered McDonald's before this too? Or you weren't aware of it then? Oh, but now you're harassing someone because they weren't aware of it? Yeah, shut the fuck up. 
Twitter being Twitter. It isn't even just Twitter being Twitter, right? When that, uh, when the entire Israel Palestine situation broke out, I I had a friend who was uh, living in Israel or who is living in Israel, but he is Palestinian by blood, um, and we used to play Valorant together. And people in Valorant would literally say shit like "Free Palestine" and all of that shit. Like <laughs> people in Valorant, in Valorant, in a video game. Like, why are you talking about this shit in a video game? Let me play my fucking video game in peace. Let me tell people in the video game in peace. I don't come here to talk about politics. I come here to get away from it! Some of them are serious, some of them are trolling. No, 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 no. More of them are cloud chasing. It's over half of them are cloud chasing. Over half of them are just cloud chasing. That seems so rational. It seems like a healthy way to view content creators. But moving on, there would be one hidden reply on Astol's tweet, and it's this. Curiously, tagging VTuber Cringe. So mm -hmm. apparently there's an issue with VTuber Cringe this in this situation cringe? being tagged, which is very unusual because VTuber Cringe, aka Curry Ringy, he covers VTuber drama just like I do on this channel. And he would be oh, no, keeping uh, tabs on a lot of the people who are posting about this situation, sharing this selection of screenshots saying, I'm looking forward to the post removal. <laughs> so this individual says, context, original poster was blocked by Astol for telling him about Palestine and the BDS movements. So you have this individual with uh, basically a keyboard smash of random letters as a handle saying, I didn't know how to reach him, so I tried DMing him about the matter, and eventually they would get blocked for trying to quote unquote, educate Astol on this situation. Here's some of their tweets saying, hello everyone, I made this account to stay anonymous and to speak okay. up about a certain matter. Keep in mind- Stay anonymous and speak up. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Yeah, sure, go on. Then I'm not here to spread hate, but okay, to bring fair. awareness. Fair. I have been a fan of Holostar, specifically Astol Leda, for three years. Astol is an amazing content creator, and he's been nothing but my happiness for three years. However, Astol recently posted about McDonald's has me disappointed immensely. Yeah, when you talk about unstable people, this is what they look like, okay? Imagine enjoying and supporting someone for three years. Well, Wait, what? Nothing but happiness for three years. However, Asta recently posted about McDonald's has me disappointed immensely. If you are unaware, the brand is the, on the BDS list. Uh, I guess that's the list to, uh, for the boycotted companies. Along with other brands that are involved in genocide. Right. Okay, man. Three full years. And all it takes for you to drop your support is that they ordered mcdonald's Ridiculous. they ordered fries and you've withdrawn your support imagine walking on eggshells trying to be a friend of someone like this god forbid one day you go out and you do a no-no a, a some sort of bad thing in the minds of these people and you are just dropped completely dropped and also the idea that they need to stay anonymous and that they're censoring words like McDonald's. Like, don't you actually believe in this stuff enough to, like, say he it on your main account? McDonald's. Like, I just... Do you actually believe that much if you're going to be hiding behind anonymous accounts? But anyways, you'll see the reply saying, as you can see, I've been blocked after sending him the DM. <laughs> I can't believe a Hollow Stars member would block a random person, like I said, with a keyboard smash collection of letters as a handle trying to educate them on this situation. I, I can't believe they would block you for this. Mm. But anyways, they say, I don't hope to seek Astol's attention. I just want him to listen to me as a fan. Why would to he? educate himself about the issue and be mindful in his future purchases. And uh, we can't stay ignorant. I would double down. I would double down and buy another pair of fries. I would just get more fries. Just well, because it's not our let me, problem. Uh, let me this enjoy lacks my fucking sympathy. Fries. Like one hundred percent. Kids, you are just a rebel. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Most people will conform to majority. Oh, fuck the majority. The majority. The majority is fucking sheep. The majority of people are fucking cheap, man. It's a good thing, don't get me wrong. Oh, I got you, don't worry. Like, I triple down and I go to Israel, but... 
<laughs> Obviously, it's a marketing scenario you force people like it to consume. <laughs> Last time someone said that communism was great. <laughs> but uh, seriously, most most fucking people are fucking cheap out there who, who are just seeing shit and are eating shit on social media. They're just shit eaters. They're cheap people that are shit eaters. But that's just that. They get the shit presented and they think, hmm, yummy, yummy shit, let me eat. And that shouldn't be how humanity works. If Astol himself doesn't care about Palestinian people, why would he care about his fans? What if there are Palestinian people in his community? Nevertheless, I look forward to the post-removal. He's my favorite creator, <laughs> and I don't want to dislike him. They are expecting him to remove the post, which has not happened yet, by the way. But moving on, we'd see people like this, right? <laughs> this individual right here sharing the boycott list underneath the tweet. We've seen people like this, this exact person, do very similar actions with Vanta from Niji Sanjian saying, damn, Vanta looking hella attractive right now, not gonna lie, gonna give him a follow for apologizing in this situation. Well, what was going on here? Well, you can see this is his account, Niji Sanjian, and recently he commented about Aww, two months ago a under a post sharing something from Starbucks where users said, whoa, hang on there, there Vanta. They're on the boycott list where he said, ah, I apologize for my ignorance. Starbucks CEO himself, Howard Schultz, calls himself an active Zionist and regularly gives money to Israel. Um, by the way, in Germany, like where I live, it's illegal to be, um, like obviously, Ger obviously Germany has to support Israel <laughs> after what they've done, right? <laughs> like after what, what happened in the history, obviously. <laughs> Germany, Germany sweating hell as fuck right now. <laughs> like after after Germany's history, they sweating hell as fuck right now. Can't let this happen again, brother. <laughs> so right now, yeah, I heard it's legal to be German. <laughs> right now, like in the news, I literally uh, like when that shit was going on. <laughs> we don't know anything. <laughs> Like, uh, Germany literally said we stand with, um, I think Israel is what they said, uh, I, I believe, I think that's what I said on the news. Um, it was a few months back already, so I might misremember the exact words of it, but I think that that was what they said. That they will support uh, Israel and all that shit. Joe and my German Fox Lady Chat Haram. Like, German energy is fucked. <laughs> Why are they still afraid of Nazi? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is something like that. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, right. I didn't talk about this entire Palestine um and Israel situation with my uh friend, who is a teacher, and. When the entire thing broke up, you guys remember when the entire thing um, uh, uh, b b broke out? Do you even know what exactly happened? Israel was having a music festival. Israel was having a music festival and Palestine attacked first. This time around, Palestine attacked first. And people don't know that. People just don't know that. Like, obviously, like, this entire thing goes way deeper. This entire thing goes way deeper than what just happened on that music festival. But people don't know that. Here in Germany, it's literally reported as it is, right? They literally reported it as what happened. That uh, Palestine attacked first and all the children all the children and teenagers at school here, like the she, uh, the teenagers, right? The teenagers. Where did that come from? The teenagers, the children. Oh, the children, the children of the immigrants, the children of the immigrants that were born here. By the way, the children were born here. They were born in Germany. They have a German pass. They have a German citizenship, but their parents are immigrants. 
But those children are literally all like, free my country. Bro, you are German. No, I'm not. D did you know that Palestine attacked first? No, they didn't. It's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. And especially because in uh, Germany, it's illegal now to literally um, be... What's the word? Fuck, I forgot the word. There was a word. <laughs> there was the... <laughs> what was the word to hate? <laughs> on uh, religions? Or like on... <laughs> on the Jews specifically? Antisemitic. Yeah, that's the word. It's literally illegal to be anti-Semitic here. It is so illegal to be anti-Semitic. And they are being anti-Semitic. But there's so many children doing it that the teachers don't have the energy to re report the children for it, obviously. The principal said, report the children to the principal who do that. But all the teachers don't have the fucking energy to do that. Because there's so many children of immigrants here now. I just say, no, I don't care about both sides. Too many innocent has died. I hate war. It's never between good and evil. It's only evil and evil. I agree. I 100% agree. It is evil and evil. Both sides are wrong. In my opinion, both sides are wrong. I'm not standing with either side because both sides killed innocent people. <laughs> cement, isn't that what they used on the side? What's that cement? <laughs> Thank you for informing me. Ah, well, you've been educated. Good for you. But anyways, I saw a schedule this week. Can someone please confirm where this burger is coming from? I hope it's not McDonald's. Oh my can we gosh. get a can we get a fact check me uh, <laughs> double check this to make sure he's not violating any boycotts <laughs> with his burger? Uh, that looks like a anyways, McDonald's. Anyways, going rep. back to Curry Renji here saying, uh, "Dear Cover Management, did you know one of your talents bought a McDonald's meal and oh is my literally God. supporting genocide?" So here we have a string of tweets from this individual saying, mm. "Ultimately, in the end." Let us write a report to cover. I know I'm still emotionally unstable from this, but the best way to address complaints have always been the same, isn't it? Okay, so what they're saying here is that basically they can't get Astle to pay attention to them. So now they're going to report Astle to Cover Corp with the intention okay. of him being punished or possibly removed. Yikes. Those people. All over ordering fraud. Those people are fucking chronically online. Those are the people that are just fucking chronically online, man. Those people don't have anything better to do. Nothing better. Nope. That shit's insane, man. Guys from McDonald's. This person is saying that they are emotionally unstable right now because a Japanese man ordered fries from a fast food restaurant. And these people want to tell you they're the normal ones. They're the normal people in this situation. Here is more reply saying, even if there is no response, maybe I can consolidate my feelings with it. If there is no change, Your I will feelings. pack up my stuff and go, I guess. Please and here's do. another follow-up saying, for those who keep saying email and cover is the better option, no, it's not that much better. We can try and be met with silence. If we want to uh, adamant change, we need to stop being so scared about putting ourselves out there and have our voices heard. And they want Adam saying, and the change. Only reason why they want Adam and change, but they're fighting for it on Twitter. Go and fight outside then. Go in, train in the army, and go. Go support, but no. That you won't do. The thing you're doing is online harassment. That's what you're doing. But no, 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 no. You're doing your part online, on Twitter, by the way. Mm? You're doing they your part. They address past issues like dropping an entire CN branch, uh, taking down the video which was in sensitive humor, was because of countless public comments about it. I'm not saying to go so attack Astol, but at least they will tread carefully from now on. And now we're going to move on from that Hollow Star situation Back to Niji Ridiculous. Sanji. Now, what I talked about... Niji Sanji. What did Niji Sanji do this time? What did Niji Sanji do this time? I just realized I had subtitles on. That's stupid of me. This tweet from yesterday and uh, yesterday's video saying, Wow, what is Niji Sanji up to here? They posted a random gate. Is this a cemetery gate? Talking about or referring okay, to the gate. tough times they've had recently? No. 
As I said, I this is likely opened. an invitation to a new generation that it is coming. Be, yeah. But people also pointed out yesterday that this is literally stock art that I they just crudely slapped a Niji Sanji Ian logo onto. Which <laughs> that's funny. Okay, that's funny, but that isn't bad. Come on, that's not that bad. <laughs> at least, at least it was the AI generated. <laughs> Like, you know. <laughs> An invitation to a new generation that is coming. But people also pointed out yesterday that this is literally stock art that they just crudely slapped a Niji Sanji Ian logo onto, which is a whole nother thing. But yes, as it turns out, there is a new generation coming to Niji Sanji Ian. Three new members are on the way. I can't believe that people still signed up for Niji Sanji after what just happened with them. I can't believe that people are still signing up with Niji Sanji. With Nichi, Sanji, and not that. Holy shit, that's insane. And like I said in yesterday's video, good luck to them. Okay, they are going to be under some immense scrutiny yeah. joining Niji Sanji Ian right now. This is the worst time mm -hmm. to join this agency. It doesn't diminish their accomplishments money, money. as to yeah, getting into this agency. So. But man, it's going to be a tough road. And I'm telling you, it's already showing. Already, within hours... There's already controversy involving this new lineup, and I will confirm this. And I caught up with the drama. What did they do? You mean Niji Sanji? There was a huge drama at the start of the year with Niji Sanji, where Doki Bird, aka, um, I think her Niji Sanji name was Salon, um, where she um, tried multiple times to commit to literally. Okay, I don't want this to get uh, demonetized. Uh, um, to commit unalive. <laughs> to commit game ending. And... And it's because of uh, the harassment and bullying from talents and I think also managers in Ichi Sanji. Names were never dropped. And Niji Sanji th uh, threw her under the bus. Niji Sanji threw Salon. Oh, do keep it under the bus. That's the very, very, very short version of it. Very short version. We'll do some research into this, but there are already claims today that one of these members- well, They did re uh, get repercussions. They were on the head. Pe Niji Sanji is known as a black company in Japan. And the black company is like a company that does really shady and bad shit in Japan. People hated on them. A lot of people, a lot of talents left. A lot of other talents were also pushed to force the narrative from the Ichi Sanji, but yeah, shit was insane. Shit was fucking insane there. It was huge. It was really huge. It was so huge that even my friends who aren't in the VTuber scene uh, heard about that. Also, um, Esmongold covered a lot of it as well. This comes from a problematic previous account that was basically disgraced they, they were uh identified as a potential scammer and they were pretty much forced to quit they were a disgraced former account and again we're going to do more research not going to make any claims here until we know something but clearly there's a lot of people starting to dig into these new members sorry i just took a bite off of my sandwich <laughs> yeah the stream is okay now uh doki she's doki but she streams on youtube and she gained a lot of popularity ever since that happened I really wish her the best. She's she's fine now. And it's already turning into a PR nightmare, and I, I really just... I can't believe how bad things are going, and they just keep getting worse and worse. Now, another consistent, more consistent than Niji Sanji getting into drama, is Gargura oh. dropping a bomb as soon as Niji what Sanji tries do? to do anything. This is... It can't be a coincidence at this point. Every single time... Niji Sanji tries to do something productive with their organization within hours. Gara Gura is there. The tactical Gura deployment is launched That's and she makes some sort of big announcement tweet. And she did that yesterday about four hours Aww. after the new lineup was announced. Gara Gura makes this tweet saying, would you look at the time? And a lot of people know this can't be a coincidence at this point. It's happened four or five times and it's really That's really funny and yeah they they really just can't beat her at this point she's quite ha single-handedly causing a great 
deal of damage to Niji Sanji by just existing and making <laughs> content. But for now, that is the situation involving Niji Sanji and Hololive as well. And that is going to do it for this video. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comments section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. See ya!